What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. Rayquaza is finally back in Pokemon Go and they have it sporting a brand new move, Breaking Swipe. But I'm sure what a lot of you are wondering is, is Rayquaza with Breaking Swipe actually worth your time? And that's exactly what we're gonna go over today. So if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe because it helps you grow out and give this video a thumbs up so we can push out into the YouTube algorithm so that more Pokemon fans can see it. And if you would like another way to support the channel, please feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But let's go ahead and take a peek at Breaking Swipe Rayquaza. I know this is a little bit of a different setup than my usual Pokemon Go videos that are just pretty and aesthetic, but today we're going to be covering everything that you need to know to make sure that Rayquaza is actually worth your time. So starting off with a couple of basics about Rayquaza. So Rayquaza is of course a dragon and flying type Pokemon, and it is going to have a max combat power of 4336. So that's huge. Stat wise, Rayquaza does have an attack stat of 284, a defense stat of 170, and an HP stat of 213. So clearly attack is going to be its strongest stat. So it is going to be a hard hitter. Unfortunately, when looking at its defense and HP, they are a little bit lackluster, so it is going to be more of a glass cannon, but nothing too crazy. Rayquaza does also have four different weaknesses, being dragon, fairy, rock, and a huge double weakness to ice, being that it is flying and dragon. On the bright side, however, it does have quite a few resistances as well, including bug, fighting, fire, water, and double resistances to both grass and ground. But the biggest question that everybody has right now is, is breaking swipe Rayquaza going to be a good option? option in PvP and in raids, especially compared to a move like Outrage, which is the most popular choice to throw on Rayquaza in addition to Dragon Tail. So looking at the comparison between the two moves at first glance, you would think that Outrage is the better option with a DPS of 18.68 and Breaking Swipe having a DPS of 18.265. So there's a 2.3% difference with Outrage coming out on top. However, on paper, yes, Outrage does look like the better option, but there's more to the story that most people are just glossing over. And this is where we start to get into the math of all the things. So starting off with comparing Breaking Swipe and Outrage. So Breaking Swipe does have a power of 35 and requires 33 energy and has a duration of 0.8 seconds and a damage window of 0.27 to 0.7 seconds. So looking at Breaking Swipe, you're like, why would I ever use this against a raid boss? It literally has a power of 35, which the other moves that are also powers of 35 are literally Struggle, Poison Fang, Feather Dance, and Return. So Breaking Swipe's not looking too good so far, right? Especially comparing it to a move like Outrage that has a power of 110 and requires 50 energy. So yes, it does require more energy, but 110 versus 35, it seems like a clear cut choice. That is until you compare the duration of Breaking Swipe versus Outrage, which as I mentioned, Breaking Swipe has a duration of 0.8 seconds, which is actually the second shortest in the game behind Return, which is 0.7 seconds, versus Outrage, which takes 3.9 seconds. So yes, it deals three times the damage that Breaking Swipe does, but it takes about five times as long to get one Outrage off. And so when they compared Breaking Swipe and Outrage in raids, it turns out that averaged across all raid bosses, Breaking Swipe actually shows about a 2.5% improvement over Outrage. And this is considering if you don't dodge. However, even if you do dodge, it turns out that Breaking Swipe and Outrage's average performances are virtually identical. And to make things a little bit less confusing, what this all boils down to is speed. So if you're running Outrage, you can use one after 60 Ts and Outrage takes 3.9 seconds to deal 110 damage. So at this point, 10.5 seconds have elapsed and you've dealt 200 damage. But if you only use Breaking Swipe in 10.4 seconds, you're able to deal 190 damage, which means in general, you'll be able to get more Breaking Swipes off on the raid boss before you faint than Outrages. So what it boils down to is basically three Breaking Swipes are greater than one Outrage because you're able to get more hits in more consistently and you're better off fainting in the middle of a Breaking Swipe than you would be fainting in the middle of an Outrage. And it's not until you're able to get four outrages off that outrage is more useful than breaking swipe. So it looks like when it comes to using breaking swipe on Rayquaza in raid battles, it'll definitely be the more consistent choice over outrage. However, it looks like breaking swipe may also have some use in PvP. Rayquaza is actually clocking in at number 12 now in the Master League. And something that people have been wanting access to on Rayquaza for PvP is Dragon Claw. But if you compare Breaking Swipe and Dragon Claw, it turns out that Breaking Swipe is actually the same thing, but better. And this is because if you compare the two, Breaking Swipe costs the same amount of energy and it deals the same amount of damage. But on top of that, 
it also has the added bonus of lowering your opponent's attack stat. So you have a debuff tacked onto it. And this is gonna be super useful in PvP because Rayquaza is not bulky, as we already saw looking at its stats. And when it comes to energy generation, it's pretty average. And up until now, it didn't have any charge moves that were under 45 energy. So at the end of the day, Rayquaza was always outshined by other more established dragon types, like Dragonite, for example. But the addition of Breaking Swipe might just be the perfect solution in order to give Rayquaza a fighting chance. Because Breaking Swipe is so quick to use, and because you do get that added debuff, this helps prolong Rayquaza's life. And going back to the comparison between Breaking Swipe and Dragon Claw, as you can see from this chart here, a Rayquaza with Dragon Tail and Dragon Claw averaged about 16 wins. But in comparison to a Rayquaza with Dragon Tail and Breaking Swipe, it averaged 23 wins. So it looks like that added debuff was just the ticket that Rayquaza needed in order to come out on top more often than not. This definitely doesn't mean that it's going to replace other more established dragons, but this does improve Rayquaza quite a bit considering its lack of bulk was one of its biggest issues. And I think that that was perfectly portrayed when looking at two moves that are basically the same, except one has a debuff and one doesn't. Granted, it's only a seven win difference. However, that's still a pretty significant amount. So to summarize and wrap everything up in a nice bow, is Breaking Swipe Rayquaza worth your time? I would say it definitely is. One, because Breaking Swipe is more consistent than Outrage in raids. Two, because it has made Rayquaza more competitively viable in PvP, considering it lowers your opponent's attack stat, which allows you to prolong Rayquaza's life and deal more damage. And the third reason that I actually haven't touched on that doesn't have to do with stat, PvP, raids, whatever, is we just don't know when Rayquaza is going to come back. Because I know a lot of people want to wait until Mega Rayquaza is a thing, but look at how long it took them to bring Rayquaza in general back into Pokemon Go. So if you want to risk it and not get a Rayquaza for I don't know how long, then sure, sit this one out. But me personally, I'm gonna go get a Rayquaza. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video for me. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Thank you to each and every single one of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.